The Renault Captur is a popular compact family car in South Africa. It competes with the likes of the Ford EcoSport, the Mazda CX-3 and the Suzuki Vitara to name but a few. But this Captur is a colourful, funky little character that allows buyers to choose from a range of colour combinations for the exterior. From the outside, there's not much to tell the updated model apart from the older version, but Renault has spent most of its efforts improving the practicality and user experience within the cabin. The first thing you notice when you get inside the new Capture is that the materials have been upgraded. They're just more soft touch, especially here on the dashboard and the door linings. The steering wheel is apparently smaller than before, not that I've really noticed. And this gear lever is from the McGann, which means it looks really good. And as with most Renault products, this touchscreen infotainment system is really comprehensive and comes with navigation and Bluetooth. And something that I wish I could show you on the seats, because some of the models come with a zip, the material ones, and you can take them off and throw them in the wash when they get dirty, which I imagine parents around the world are thrilled about. Despite the Capture's relatively small size, the boot is actually quite big. It's claimed at 377 litres, which is bigger than the Toyota CHR and the Ford EcoSport. But it also has two nifty features, one being the false floor, which means you can hide all your valuables under here. And the other is if you need an extra 100 litres, you can slide these rear seats forward. In order to do this, you have to commit. I suggest putting your foot here for support, grabbing the lever and pull it. There we go. Easy. Oh, yeah, awkward. <laughs> the capture engine range includes a 0.9 litre turbo petrol, which comes from the Clio, a 1.2 litre turbo petrol with either auto or manual transmission, and then this 1.5 litre turbo diesel. We think that this diesel derivative mated to a five-speed manual is the best combination for the capture. The diesel allows it good in-gear acceleration and it hardly uses any fuel. Renault claims just 3.6 litres per 100k, which means 1,200 kilometres per fill-up. Crikey, that's like one tank to Joburg. Even with a heavy foot, we've seen numbers below 5 litres per 100k's. This capture is in the running for the 2017-2018 Cars Awards Compact Family Car of the Year title. The Renault doesn't skimp on safety or entertainment features and therefore offers very good value for money. This diesel derivative will cost you just under 295,000 Rand, but pricing for the range starts at just under 230k. Factor in a 3-year 45,000 km service plan and a 5-year 150,000 km warranty and it's not difficult to understand why the fun-loving capture continues to sell so well. Let us know what you think in the comments below. We'd love for you to join our community by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.